my cutiests of all cutinesses. It's been since last year. For real. It's January. <laughs> since I have filmed the video. Now, um, this is not gonna be just a makeup tutorial like I normally would do or do something crazy. But this is really one, actually the first video from the TLSTL Tips and Tricks. And this is all about a question about brows. And we all get a routine in our makeup. We either always use the same mascara, we do our brows the same way, we do our lips in the same shape, we all get some kind of habits that we put in our daily or in any makeup routine that we do. She wants to approve and learn a different shape and that is why we are here today to change the shape that she had. A brow that was on the outer edge very far away from the nose and a real C curve. What was the most wrong at first sight if you watched a picture? This distance is very far out. She makes her brows very small and she has a beautiful filled round face and with those small C shapes she kind of took away the shape of her face. Now what I just want to show in this video is how she can improve that and how she can do the brows that she has asked for. And she is so marvelous. I told her some tips just saying how she can change it. She immediately, she, she just right away, bam, boof, changed everything about that front part. Magnificent. I'm so proud of her. I'm so happy. So instead of that curve, which her natural brows were plugged in, she made a line like I asked her to do. I let her put a line on the lower part of the highest point of her brows. And that line, everything in the front that came below that line needed to be gone. She did that already, so that makes it easy for me to show the rest. What I'm going to teach you first are the most simple outlines to make a brow nicely in place. I'm going to take a brush or a pencil because you've got a thousand of different products and I am not going into that. I'm just using whatever I got in front of me here and the first I am going to use is a sharpened pencil and a brush. Because we all have a different face shape, we all have different features. Some people have a very small nose, some people have a wider nostrils. You can adjust your brows by using the tip of your nose and the corners of your eyes. And it's very simple actually. You place a brush or anything else that's as straight as possible against the nostril and running perfectly up over the inner corner of your eye. You can take the outer edge and draw a line against that pencil and that is the beginning point of the brow. And as you see, if I take the tip of my nose and I go up, it's the same positioning only on the outer side of the brush. So, if I do it with my brush next to my small nose, it's on the outer edge. And if you got a wide nose, don't use the nostrils, use the tip of the nose. And what you have, if you put it up straight, is that same spot on the inner side. To map out where the arch, where you can start going down for the tail, and I am gonna go right across the pupil of my eye. So if I would look straight there, it's like that. But if I look in the mirror and I look straight ahead, 
that is where I arrive. See? And then for the ending of the tail, again the same, but I'm gonna go next to my outer corner of my eye. So nose, outer corner, and there is my tail gonna end. So these three points are now just gonna be connecting the dots. You can do that a little bit curved, you can even use a ruler and put it straight and that's what I'm gonna do to show you. So I put this very straight and I put this right to where I want it in my height. That's your personal preference. Do you want to have it here so that it's very curved? Do you want to have it high? Then you put it there. I'm gonna take it to there somewhere. And that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it very straight so that you can do it. Once you're used to it, you can do this with your own style, your own shape, anything you like. But these are the marks to place a brow. So what she wants is to get here a tail, a nice tail. So you're gonna choose how wide your brow is gonna be in the center and you can make it curved or with straight lines. That's where the curve is. And from the curve you go straight to that tail. You can go straight to it, you can then elongate it, but this I'm now rounding off so that it's angled instead of the straight line that I've placed first. So this is optional. This you choose yourself. And then the front of the brow, you're not gonna draw immediately, you're just gonna shape from a centimeter in to the brow. And that's where you're gonna form the shape of your brow. So that's, that's how far we are now. Now in the first part, I'm now gonna remove that line. But I'm leaving a little tip so that I still know where to begin. And I'm gonna remove this first centimeter. And then it's whatever product you take. Do you take your pencil? Do you take a brow brush with powder? Or do you take a liquid, all optional, all whatever you want it to be? I'm going to take powder. I love a brow powder. And for me, I use this color and this color. So in the beginning, I start with a lighter fade, even sometimes mixed with that. And that is where I do my tail with. So I'm taking this the brush and I'm gonna fill it up on both sides and I'm gonna start with making a very soft handed so my hand is not holding my brush like this but in the half of your brush if you use it here that's for a very light work if you use it there it's very fine and sturdy work and if you use it in the middle that is the perfect pressure for a brow so I'm now going to make my first line. Just gently push and don't drag or make shapes yet. And I'm going to make a couple next to each other and then I'm going to stroke, 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 stroke. Taking extra product. And stroke, stroke, stroke. And the further I go, the more I lay my brush down and I really color in that tail part. And I add a little bit of darkness to the outer part. And I go back to a straight line in the front. And I take my brush upside down. So with a tip down. And I'm gently gonna with that tip alone, smush that beginning point in a V-shape and then move on with little strokes towards the rest. So a V-shape and then from that point we go and 
continue to move the entire brow. If you want to have this more visible, you can take your pencil and gently swoop in that little V-shape. From one spot you make a V with a couple of hair strokes in it and then you move on and you're gonna start shaping those hair strokes any way you want. Now my brows are shaped. I shave them off because I want to have different amounts of lit space according to the looks I want to show. Now if I were to draw my brow where my brow bone is, I would have to put it a lot lower because I've got a very low construction in my skull. So I cannot use my natural brow to do this with. So therefore razor and gone. So like I said, you have that three tip hairs and then you go and fill in the brows that you have or like I have, I got none, I just draw hair like strokes in there. But as you see, I am making a real dark brow, especially to show you too, because I would make them lighter. And what I do then is I take a spoolie, and with that spoolie, I am going to brush through the drawn hairs. If you have real brow hairs, you comb them in that direction, first up and then in that direction down. But I don't have hairs, so what I do in this front, I use these hairs to take away product that's on my brow. So I take away the strokes that are there and I take away that tip in an angle outwards. And what I do then is take that same and keep it like that and I just gently feather that darkness away so that actually most of it is gone and then I go to the lightest powder and I dab and that's all I do